Hi, this is Lee Garrett, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. Today, I'm covering an app that I didn't actually think I would take to. It's a screen capture application that's able to capture still screenshots and video as well. And it's called ScreenFloat, which has just had version 2 released at the end of January this year. Now, why did I think I wouldn't take to it? Well, there's a default screenshot tool already in macOS, which is better than people give it credit for. And there's also a lot of other screenshot utilities out there. And I wasn't sure there was space in my workflow for another one. However, ScreenFloat has surprised me because as well as capturing image, it's put an awful lot of detail into how they're organized. And organizing my screenshots is a weak point for me, but not anymore because I'm happy to say that ScreenFloat is now part of my daily workflow. And today I'm going to really dive in deep and show you exactly what it can do. Now, as ever, we need to kick off with pricing and where you can get the application from. So it's available through the Mac App Store and I've already purchased it, which is why we can't see the price there. The ratings are already very good and it's also available as part of this developer bundle here. So in this bundle, it comes with Yoink and Transloader. Now, I've not used Transloader myself, so I can't really vouch for that one. However, I do use Yoink daily as a kind of shelf utility on my Mac for parking items as I drag and drop them. So I can only assume that Transloader is top quality as well. But those are the two main options for purchase here. So I'm going to click to open. And we have a welcome screen here. So this shows you some of the core features within the app. It captures floating screenshots and videos. And we're going to see how important that is as we move through the video. There are tools to recapture, resize, crop, rotate and fold the image. The folding is particularly cool. You're going to love that. And of course, you can mark up the images, but you can also redact stuff in your screen captures as well. It can automatically detect text for copying into other applications, QR codes for opening, and it's got face detection as well if you ever need to redact that. Here you can define which shortcuts you're going to use to capture the screenshots, as well as launch screen float at login, which I will do. And I'm just going to clear this up here. Then next, we've got options to enable Cloud Sync, and we're going to enable that and run through the other options and what this means a little bit later on. So that's it. It's installed. We're done. And it's time to start using ScreenFlow. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, Visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.